In Creo Parametric 10.0, Generative Design now supports the ability to introduce a rotational symmetry constraint in your optimization. In this example, we'll access Generative Design and edit an existing design criteria to include rotational symmetry. Selecting Design Constraint pull-down menu, you can select Symmetry to be included. Now this type of constraint was available in previous releases, but it only allowed the option for planar symmetry. With this new enhancement, you now have the option to select rotational or a combined planar and rotational constraint to be included in your optimization. When selecting rotational symmetry, you'll need to select a symmetrical axis of rotation. This can either be a datum or coordinate system axis. Then you'll need to define the number of instances to include in the rotational symmetry constraint. If you wanted to include the combined planar and rotational symmetry, you'll need to choose the symmetrical plane for planar symmetry and then the axis of rotation as well as the number of instances for the rotational symmetry. Accepting the change to the design constraint, you can now run the optimization. As the optimization is being processed, you'll notice the shapes start to materialize, leveraging the rotational symmetry based on the design goals. Once finished, the optimized shape can be easily reconstructed to produce a rich B-Rep model for downstream use. This enhancement will allow you to ensure your optimized geometry is radially balanced. It enables you to explore alternative design solutions with improved control of geometry that is output from the generative design optimization.